when the camera shutter clicks at just the right moment. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Lightning strike there, and a little bit of fire, but no problem with the rain going on. Whoa! Well, now we know where the storm is centered. We're not hearing the, the big booms over in our area, so it's off to our west. Maybe we're going to be okay. Um, about the end of the day, folks are going to start heading to bed. Pause right here. Sangria brought up the point that Klaus was stuck working on this because of the priority. Something that wasn't in Alpha 13. <clears throat> you click on them and tell them to go do something, it now, at least for a production table, it gives them a priority and they just stay there and, and don't want to do anything but that until you cancel the priority. Interesting. So he may starve to death trying to get as many blocks done as possible. Yep. Boy, I don't like that. I want to just tell him momentarily, go do this, and then not have to think about it again. So that's a little frustrating. <clears throat> also, um, brought up the point that there's one more thing to be looking at when you want to see if you want to tame something. Um, I, that's what I want. Boom rats. Wildness is 75%. But there is... No, I haven't seen it yet. Where is it? It's a taming skill level required. You guys seeing it? Minimum handling skill, 6. Okay. So you have to be at least a 6. Now, if you're less than a 6, we'll even let you do it. For instance... Well, hmm. Does the cook stove allow someone less than 6 to even cook fine meals? I don't think it does. I think it defaults to not, but just out of curiosity, Sangria skill level uh, for handling is handling animals is a 6 now. Okay, almost a 7. So she met the minimum requirements to do it. Probably more successful if her skill was up higher. I went ahead and took the, the, the tame command off of all these for now. Early in the series, someone made the comment that you can milk the boom rats and boom lobes for what's needed to make chem fuel. Since then, uh, people have been confirming, no, it's only the boom lobes. So, I would like to have these guys available to tell to go to a, a animal zone down in this bedroom market. They all come running in when bugs infest it. And they open the door, go in, close the door, bugs kill them, and boom, and everything, you know, kind of lights on fire, and, and we get rid of bugs. But I'm, I've got a lot of folks telling me that these things breed like rabbits. And the problem is, when they get old, in fact, there was this one, six years old. I don't know what is considered old for a, a rat, but when they get old, they die. Or when they when we run out of food and they starve, they die. Or if they get injured, they die. And depending on where you've got them, you know whether they're just staying out here with the alpacas, or we have to move them in because of a of an acid rain, whatever that one disaster is called, and it's going to kill all of our animals, so we got to move them indoors, and then they die. So boom wraps may not be the uh, the ideal pet. Let's let's put it that way. Gnarly was, let's see, was, was making the comment, if we want to defend this area, we could consider finding some boomalopes someday, milking them, making the chem fuel, and storing the chem fuel over here or some, someplace. In here, maybe there's a spot in here somewhere, or mine out a spot, because we can't place it as far as I know in the water. So we have to mine out a, a layer right there of, of ground and then do it. But we could store the chem fuel, or use some of the chem fuel in there, and before attack, we could just set up a sniper and shoot the chem fuel, and boom, and it uh, takes them out. That's a possibility. It'd be kind of fun to, to, to watch and, and to accomplish. But one thing you've got to remember, <clears throat> the enemies come in, or ever, and there are enemies. But it's possible that if we do it right, at some point, they may be our best friends. So... <laughs> see if we can not blow them all up <laughs> especially the guys I'm only getting ladies that are that are attacking us right now and I've got a whole list of guys that want to be in the game we got to find a way to to take out some to knock out some guys and and convince them 
to uh, to join us. I wonder if there's any way to get into the game save file and change a female to a male once in a while. I haven't tried that. I wonder if it's an XML file file or not. Hmm, might be worth playing around with. But um, what else here? That one, Cathra was mentioning that when it when it was going to cost us. Um, who's not Shantiko? If I were to right-click you and do this, nope, doesn't work. Never mind. Clear, prioritize work. Um, when it said that it cost us eleven hundred to call in a trader from one of the one of those places, and I commented, "That's that's crazy. That's that's way too much. We'll just wait for them to come to us." She said that that allows you to choose a very specific trader, so you can choose a. Uh, uh, an arms trader, or a, um, I can't think of the name right now, the general merchandise one, goods trader. You know, if you want a specific one to come in, that that fee allows you to be very specific in who you want to call up. So there is there is a bonus to that when we've got more silver than we know what to do with. And that's I don't know if I've ever been in that situation, <laughs> even in real life. <laughs> um, yeah, Handy had mentioned to check the boon wraps uh, ages. That was good point there. Don't get a one that's on the verge of, of uh, kicking the bucket. Otherwise, uh, Quiet Mirth brought up that chairs, we need to get chairs in at these uh, new tables over here. Keep them comfortable while they're working. Especially this job. This is a tough job. And was also wondering if we couldn't just reinstall this up there in that other area, but there's no reinstall. We only have deconstruct. Though I wouldn't have a problem with sticking another one right up here until these are done and just get these chipped out and deconstruct the table. So, in fact, that's probably not a bad idea right now. Let's just do that. Stone cutter, and turn you like so. And if I drop you right there, and put a chair right there, and put a roof, structure uh, zone, roof, right there, then put a quick stockpile right there of storage clear all and what would that be raw stone blocks no I want I want stones not the blocks where is that chunks that's right stone chunks go in there and then another one uh, zone right there Oh, probably comparable. You clear all, and you will be um, raw resources and stone blocks. Okay. Now, I haven't played with the priorities on those. Over here is just a normal priority. This right here is a normal priority, so it should be either or. It won't. Uh, it won't uh, choose one over the other. Anything else in my notes before I get this going? Um, another thing I wanted to do. I hadn't brought this up before, at least in this series. But Chantigo's been making all of these great fine meals, and we can actually see a little more detail. This particular fine meal is turkey, meat, potatoes, and pork. And this particular fine meal is turkey, meat, pork, and rice. So it's kind of interesting how it lists what he chose to put into those meals. You know, we can't... Unfortunately, the choices aren't filet mignon, but uh, I'm sure that we can, we can imagine that they are. Over here, we've got turkey meat, potatoes, and pork as well. Turkey apparently has been on, on the menu for a while. You know, those Thanksgiving leftovers. Um, Catherine mentioned that as they do drop a new something into a pile, specifically meal in this case, it does change the qualities to as far as spoils in, and, and I don't know if it changes hit points or not. It might, but at least the spoils, you know, how quickly it's going to go bad, refreshes to the latest meal, and that becomes the quality of the entire pile. It's unfortunate. I mean, it's fortunate because we can always refresh a pile that's about to die, but it's unfortunate that the realism isn't there, that that rotten food is suddenly brand spanking new but uh, and fresh, but uh, that's, that's what was going on there. And so to leave 10 over here and eat one and drop one every day, we'll keep it refreshed. So no problem there. Though when there are no prisoners, we do want to get that taken back out. Take that down to a low priority. With that, um, queue up some steel mining, I think is the last thing on my list of 
things to remember. So let's get these guys going. Sienna is bringing in. Sienna, I wanted to set you training to rescue as well. And several of you wrote in to say that it's very possible that the that uh, Ham did not go and rescue Tomislav because he's not his master. That well, from what they know that it is the master or others in the very close proximity. So maybe proximity wasn't, you know, Ham over here and Thomas up down over there. Maybe that wasn't close enough. So that's probably what went wrong there. We'll, we'll try that differently next time. Everybody's off to bed. And... Actually, we probably need to get another bed made in this room for our next uh, recruit and this room. So I'll wait to the last minute. I would think that Sangria, not in a... Uh, not a boarding home. What do you call it? Um, feeling terrible. Very comfortable. Six. And okay, so over here, Handy, you are Barrack. And it's a mediocre one at that. So if I can get the. I think. Hmm. I think Barrack in itself is a negative. I don't know if, if I can pretty this up and make that whole negative go away or not. It used to be that they really wanted their own room and any time there was a second bed in there I threw a negative on it we've got a fire pause so this is in our home zone we have a mega sloth on fire that's not good and <clears throat> let's see home zone because we're building walls here is expanding our home zone to match all of these areas later we'll want to probably take some of these off just to because it's going to be a lot of fire management where it's not necessary and they're going to want to go clean in those areas but I'll leave it this way for now. We'll, we'll get to, we'll, one of these days we'll fine tune all of that. But let's get through this. Another fire. So, Mega Sloth, you are injured now. You've got a burn to ooh, the right eye, the body, the left rear leg, and the or rear left leg and front left leg. But you're you're steaming. No, that's that's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's going on there. Chair over here. Furniture. And here. There and there. Two potentially working over here. Maybe when all the granite's gone in this area, I'll disable these guys. Last time I had forgot to set the bill, so that has still not been done. Okay, so granite blocks forever. We'll just do the one bill for now. This table goes away when this project is done. I think. We'll see. Because later, that's going to be indoors in the production area. So, it won't be outdoor tables anymore. This one, can't set a bill on it. So, it's five blocks per wall section, correct? Structure, that's going to take five, so that takes ten. And it's, it's nice that it tells you. So it even tells you when you don't have enough. So you can run a, a long wall and know that you've got to come up with 75 blocks to make that happen. So, boy, 75, um, 200, 400, 600 stones. And they do make them quite fast. I mean, there's another 100 right there. So get three of them chipping away at it. It should happen pretty quick. Um, let's queue up a few of these while we're waiting for the sun to come back up. Haul those. And we'll, we'll haul those. These are close enough to walk over and get them. What else? Granite's there. There's some granite. There's some granite. Just the nearby stuff. All of that can be brought in to work on. And I suppose that's not too far up there and there. Anything just in this area? Do you have some? Yeah, we do have some right here. Starting to get light. Must be uh, four in the morning. Yep. And yeah, we'll even do those. Okay. Now, from what I know, they're going to haul just based upon uh, how you know the closest hauling project. So, not likely they're going they're going to get to these for a long time. So, it's not too much of a worry. Nothing left over here to haul. We've we've done all this. We haven't done enough mining to have anything else to haul in, uh, in here. There's one block of marble right there. Alright, Klaus is up talking to Vort. 
And let's see. So Vort is doctor and intellectual, which means we could get a second uh, research bench going and or trade out with Tomislav and do some of one skill and do some of another. We'll see. All of our steel clubs have made it in. <laughs> okay. Just wait for a prison break now. Um, <laughs> um, when we get... Well, we could play with that right now, but uh, when we do get into this area and everyone gets their own bedroom, and this area is going to expand. I just didn't want to go any further yet till we got the first part of it done. Probably more bedrooms down in here. Maybe even some more bedrooms over here or something. But um, as we get individual bedrooms going... I would like to put a shelf and have each player pick a couple things they want on their shelves in uh, in their bedroom. If that's something that something that you want to do for as far as a role play uh, aspect of the game. Otherwise, this bed is shoddy. It needs to be hauled out. And Handy, you are making a T-shirt after you haul this away because you've got a good run speed. You'll come right back to that T-shirt. And you are clear prioritized work. Does oh, that's just what I signed there. Okay, so curious if Shantigo doesn't list any prioritized work. So maybe nighttime or resting cancels it. We've done really well with uh, not getting a blight. I uh, remember Catherine's second episode. There was yellow everywhere, and I just thought about that as I looked at the corn. The corn's ready to uh, to be harvested. And Sangria, you have, um, what am I looking for? Growing, 10, passion, yeah. Let's get you maybe helping out with the harvest right now. You're probably taming something. What are you doing? You're taming a wild boar. All right, let's look at this one. You're a six. Wild boar needs a minimum skill of three. Okay. So, all right, we'll do that, and then let's go ahead and rework you into uh, growing a little bit more. Sangria, you're a two at growing, so what's your schedule look like? Your handle, then your next object, or next uh, task is grow. So it's already set correctly. Okay, no problem there. Um, got rid of the ones over in this area. We'll just deal with that as, as uh, the need comes up. Um... Though if we did set somebody to concentrate on hauling, who would it be? Catherine's chipping away at blocks right now. Handy. Klaus. Does wardening. Does butchering. And there's nothing to butcher right now. Does hunting, which doesn't happen very often. We'll be doing a lot of mining, but that's not a high priority right now. Uh, we'll be soon. Plant cut. So I could, well, I could do that. Rabbit, I want you to concentrate on growing. Sangria, you too for now. Everything's ready to be harvested and put a second wave into pretty much the whole place. Over here as well, get a little bit further in the potatoes. Maybe we'll switch this back over to strawberries. Once I switch it, they're going to cut all of these out, harvest just the ones that were ready, and then replant everything. So they're not going to wait for it to get its turn. You know, it's just done. So I do want to, uh, you know, take advantage of the time we've spent on this by not doing it at the wrong time. Uh, work. There we are. So Sangre, you're set. Shantigo, cooking, and then mining. And that there are some mining projects to do. So you can do that, whereas Klaus is doing the hauling. As, as the next priority. Um, Tomislav, we took you off of research just yet. We'll put you back on once that wall is done. Otherwise, what are you up to? <clears throat> you're helping to construct, which is basically the wall. Otherwise, growing, you're 5 of 20. Mining, your next one is plant cut, and that's important too. We need to get all this wood done. Wouldn't be surprised if you're up here already. Klaus is refueling torch. You... Uh, there's no deactivate, so I just have to deconstruct. So, in that case, um, do that, and you're going to put the wood away. Yep. So, we're kind of done with this little room right now. I'm not going to tear it down yet until I know what to do with it. It's an overflow of some kind. So, there's no point in destroying it yet. 
All right, I was looking for Tomislav. Where are you at right now? You are hauling steel to Stonecutter's table, so you're going to get this built for me. Good. That's good. And we've pretty much wiped this area out. So once that is built, I could just manually assign Cathra up to this area, and she'll work up in here for a while. Otherwise, Tomislav is building that. Klaus, where, what kind of hauling are you up to right now? You are reloading Chantigo's area. Nice. That is really helpful. Um, Sangria, you are training. Shantigo, why don't you haul this for me? <clears throat> then, Klaus, you can haul... What's the biggest stack of meat? Ooh, we don't have any. Well, haul this one for now. And... Well, this is taking up room in our in our freezer that's just not needed. So let's... Uh, not, let's insect jelly. Where'd the lamp go? Th that was ready to expire last I saw. I had set it over here and it's gone. The other one... I don't see it either. They do have a time limit. And last I checked, it was just a couple of days. Like this one over here. This one expires in 11 days. Over here. And we haven't claimed it. Interesting, we could go and get it. You expire in two days, and then we've got this over here to haul in. Which, as far as I know, uh, doesn't seem to break down. Doesn't say spoils in. So I guess there's no problem there. Jelly stored and used as food by oversized insects. It is smooth, rich, and brings joy to those who consume it. Because of its unique biological properties, it can nourish almost any creature and never rots. Interesting. Okay. Kind of like honey. Could be one way to think of that one. All right, so you two are working on there. Catherine's working on there. And one more block to go. Tomislav is still filling all this up and ready to work on it. Now, your construction skill is what? You know, I see you have been dropping into construction more and more often. You don't have a passion for it, so you're not going to uh, skill up too quickly. But we did manage to get a table that doesn't have a quality built into it. Okay. Anyway, you, bills. Add bill. Granite blocks forever. Okay. Good enough. And Cathra has a time to shift you over. <clears throat> No, you've got two over here. We just hauled one out of here. And there's one more to haul out of here. In fact, uh, Sienna's doing it. Ham's doing it right now. He must have got his training done. Now, Ham, have you ever bonded to anyone? You have not. Okay. So we'll uh, um, animals and take you off of Sangria to none so that you can just randomly do your thing. Now, find you again. Well, Sienna, we did set to... Add rescue. I don't think I want to put release on these. I think the dogs are too valuable to risk um, going off and attacking anything. Especially if it happens when I can't control it. If it's just a random event that does it on its own. 1500. Let's see if this is truly necessary anymore. Um, actually, it is. Forcing him to do some joy each day. Though Tomislav is doing really good. He was before as well. What's with that? Well, I haven't got anybody double assigned still. No, it's just one day, or one hour. Okay. When we get inside here, we'll get the pool table, poker table, things like that. We, I guess we could put in a... Uh, uh, where? What do we want to do with this space? One more indoor space for something. We could put a chess table and a couple of chairs somewhere. At this point, really, just to see, just to see it work. Joy, chess, could even kind of do it here. Those are nightstands. Okay, so hmm. eventually the prison will have to have something like that. Well, that's one thing about having prisoners in their own separate rooms. You can't easily set up a, a joy in every room as where you could in the common room. But unfortunately, they have to choose a room or or a bunk. You know, it just doesn't uh, doesn't work otherwise. Um, furniture, chair, you, you. You get somebody to build that. Not a high priority. 
Chantilly goes out of meat, and we have enough simple meals. He doesn't need to cook anymore. So he is uh, mining this out. That's great. <coughs> we'll send somebody in here to do some cleaning soon. Otherwise, we've got that chair built. And Kathra is going to, right now, before I forget again, be reassigned. She's already off hauling blocks from somewhere else. So you can come up and work at this one. Need warm clothes still. Yep. And Klaus is hauling. Klaus, while you're there, let's haul to here. And bring 75 blocks up in that area. You brought 72. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's do something here. First of all, drop on floor. Because I forgot that on both of these. There. And let's set the... Hmm. Then temporarily, let's do this. Um, zone. Stockpile. Just kind of right there. And that is this one. Copy. Paste. Only... Okay, that's fine. And this one, we're going to take granite out of it. Storage blocks, stone blocks, no granite. So when Klaus does make a trip and drop something off, it's going to be to that one specifically. And that should shorten that process up. How's Vort doing? Vort is sound asleep. Needs food, has it, and though he's not going to get any more for a while. Well, it could be that Klaus will top off that pile. That's right, it is set for a higher priority. Critical. Okay, so it will keep getting one of these frozen ones dropped in. Whatever their quality is, is what's going to land over here. And Unless they've been sitting out here by the cook stove for too long, the quality should be fine. Well, I just had to run downstairs and get a package from the mailman, so I uh, just noticed something when I came back and sat down. We now have a serious hauling project, don't we? Let's I'll let you guys go ahead and work. Where are we at? 6 p.m. Um, haul. Tomislav, you get to jump into hauling for a little while. Shantigo, instead of mining, you can haul for a while. Sangria is working on gardening. And Rabbit is as well. Klaus is already hauling. Handy. What are you doing right now? I was going to think, but there's not a lot of project. Oh, you're, you're sewing. we got dusters being made. And we are just dropping on floor, right? Uh, details. Nope. Drop on floor. Okay. Wish I could set that command for the entire bench rather than each individual job. It seems like a bench control rather than a duster thing but yeah you just drop them down here and continue making dusters and then eventually when we do get wool in we'll make better quality ones sangria is wearing one now right gear cloth duster yeah so she grabbed one of the first ones there are there more already in storage no so they must be grabbing them as they go okay that's fine all right, so we need to get some cleaning done in here, but that's not as much of an issue. Let's get all of this stuff hauled in. And so, Shantigo, you naturally are heading for corn. Good. Klaus is attempting to recruit. Good. And Tomislav is hauling granite to a dumping stockpile, which came from somewhere. Interesting. Did I... I told it this one, didn't I? Okay. Um, let's send a little granite here, too. For regular chunks at the moment. We can try to... What just happened there? This? I got the right one clicked? I don't. Over here? Okay. I'm looking at one, and I'm clicking on another right here. Let's turn granite off on this one. And... Any new granite that comes out of here, except for the mining right here. Well, there is that issue. Never mind. Storage, granite, turn you back on. Or normal. So these 
blocks we're mining out, which won't be a lot of mining just yet. Eventually we're going to get into there. Right now it's just this and a few little things. These can drop off here, okay. And But uh, all the rest of the stuff we want hauled from this whole area, I don't want them to be hauled down to there. And that's a problem because I've made this so small that it's only, once this fills up, they're going to want to go somewhere else with them. I'm hoping, though, most of the hauling is just going to concentrate right here. And then once it's done, I'll turn that hauling back off. And don't have to worry about them, you know, all but just Klaus and maybe eventually not even him going off to those other areas. Anyway, whenever I get interrupted making an episode, I sit back down and try to remember all the things I was mentally planning to do before I left. And I have lost it. So I'm going to just stare at this for a while and see what else needs to be worked on. Minor break. Boom. Okay, I guess the game just, uh, you know, sensed that I, I was floundering, so it, it moved the story along for me. Tattered pale apparel, unhappy nudity. That's all Vort's issues right now. New recruit. Who was the minor break risk? Cathra. Because you're stuck up here doing this work. I really don't like this prioritized ish, you know, thing that they've got going on here. I really don't. You're going to consume a fine meal out there where there's no table because you're starving, right? Yep. Hmm. Which is just going to tank everything else, too. I'm going to send you into here, and we'll just have to haul that meal down, but I don't want that other negative on you. Anyway, who's Vort? Vort, first of all, is wearing a t-shirt. Was it just sitting... Oh, his pants right there. Character gear... Why not go for the pants? Vort, why don't you go here instead? And then head off to get a t-shirt. So I guess t-shirt is the higher priority. Okay. Anyway, Vort. Character. Vort is... Didn't it say here somewhere? Scientist. So sci scientist right there. Doesn't really... Well, I guess it alludes to it, but it doesn't actually say it in the name or anything. Okay. This character... Let me flip a page and go back a bit. There we are. This one is our new Natalia. And Natalia is going to be our, our scientist alongside our doctor, who also shares those kind of duties. Um, whereas Tomislav is more... Where's Tomislav? Um, right there. He is more in the doctoring side of it. Whereas Natalia... You're there somewhere. There you are. Is more on the scientist side of it. So more the research side of it. So that's good. We're going to be able to distinguish the two a little bit. Um, let's get into this. Kid scientist. So, born into an influential family, Natalia received the best education money could buy. Her intellect soon proved to be superior to many. However, her lack of empathy quickly put her at odds with the teachers and her parents. So, we've got uh, medicine plus four, artistic minus three, intellectual plus four, and disabled, wardening, plant cutting, hauling, and cleaning. So, we'll not do dumb labor. As an adult, after finishing her education, Natalia was hired by the planet's leading genetic researcher. Lately, she was caught running illegal, inhumane experiments. <laughs> her and Tomislav will get along just fine. Despite her family's influence, she was convicted and sentenced to hard labor on a penal colony. Animals negative two, medicine plus three, mining plus three. Um... So, mining is not dumb labor, right? What was the other one? Was it mining? No, it was hauling, I was thinking of. Okay. And artistic minus three and intellectual plus eight. Whoa. So we have a plus 13 and intellectual. Um, Tomislav is, is equal. So they can both research equally fast. And we've definitely got our, our secondary doctor now. Rabbit's in training, but she's pretty much already... That's Tomislav. Uh, Natalia. Yeah. 10 and 11, that's that's great. Okay, um, over here, anything else? I need traits, psychopath. Has no empathy. 
The suffering of others doesn't bother her at all. She doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold to slavery, unless it affects her. She also has no mood boost from socializing. So the others will have a conversation with someone. Handy, needs, uh, does it give it to me? It does not. Social, it, she gets... Obviously, you get a boost from having a good conversation with someone. I uh, chatted with, with Natalia right there. It just happened. So, Natalia chatted with Handy. Handy is a plus 40 there. Um, but she's not going to get a, a boost from having a conversation. I'm trying to find an example of that. Needs. I actually don't think I've seen that this series. Used to be. Had a good, you know, positive conversation, a plus three or something like that. But I'm not seeing any hint of something like that now. No, that's not there. Hmm. So I wonder if that description is an old description and it hasn't been changed to reflect the current uh, workings of the game. Um, Natalia, if we missed anything, character prosthophobe believes the human body is limited for a reason to her bionic parts parts are unethical um health she's the one with a pig leg a shattered rib bite scar scratch scar and needs in a little pain as a result of those otherwise everything else here is repairable so she's only got a negative five attached to her permanently so that's that's great um social not doesn't really have one yet gear Picking up things. Character shooting can shoot about the same as Sangria and Melee at the same level. Otherwise, need a bedroom and need to get her work schedule figured out. So let's let this thing run. She just got done sleeping, so she'll probably be awake through the night. Uh, yep, done there. And <clears throat> let's set up a bed in Sangria's room. So, Architect, in fact, this pause is 2200. I might be able to still get this squeezed in. She doesn't have any construction skills, right? No. Okay. So, furniture, bed, and... Of course, it's easier to do it one like this. So, one nightstand can do both. But, we'll, we'll just do that. And an end table right there. And... Rabbit, nope. Uh, do that again. Wooden end table, cancel. Rabbit, you're resting. Handy is resting. Shantigo's dropping off. Cathra, consuming a fine meal. I'll leave her alone. Anybody still out here? Klaus, can you just drop that wood? We're out of wood. Okay. So plant cutting has got to be boosted up there as well as all of the hauling, as well as all of the growing. So we are getting a lot of growing in. So the growers that have been harvesting are going right back into setting up new plants. It's the ha the haulers that need to get their butts out there and get to work, which we now have a new one. Okay, so um, Natalia and Needs, your rest is fine. Cargo pods. So you're not going to need that bed tonight. It'll be tomorrow when you need it. And that way we're not going to disrupt Sangria while we're building it. Cargo pods detected a cluster. Um, go see what's in the wreckage. And there's the shadows. They're dropping in right now. Anything survives that. I have no idea. Whole bunch of simple meals. Where? Not too far. Is that bait to get us all out there so that the uh, raid can come in? Um, we do have room. It's just dirty room. Let's go ahead and set this up. I was going to say our, our fridge is full, but that didn't work too well. Cancel. And next time, click here first. That way, there's no chance that it can be anything separate. Yep, yeah, your problem too. So, one more time. Click there, and now it all becomes the same one. Okay. Um, let you guys go. And let's work on her, well, her restrict first. And set you up the same as everyone else. You're not a night owl, so there's no specific requirements. And then go off to work and do those. And you're a one on your doctoring as well. That's your primary. Okay, otherwise, 
let's do it this way. Something, something I haven't really done before. Just kind of uh, every quality, every uh, category. We'll see who the top ones are and how she fits into that. Um, wardening, not capable of it. Handling, not capable of it. No point even turning it on. Um, cook, nope. And really no reason to. It's not like hauling a meal is a cook is required. That would be either wardening or doctoring. So, yeah, we'll leave that one alone. Um, hunting, we only have the two that I'm going to always have weapons on that I want out there at the time. Later, we'll fire these up and queue up every squirrel on the map and get some target practice in. But right now, we're a little too busy for that. Construct. <clears throat> Natalia's at the bottom there as well. Um, basically, Handy and Tomislav are the ones that are doing it. Shantigo, no, Klaus, actually has the passion for it. So, what could we give... We could do that instead. Tomislav's got a passion for growing, whereas Klaus has the passion for the uh, construction. They're both right now set to hauling, though. We'll need to take uh, Klaus off of hauling to ever be able to do any building. And Tomislav was on hauling anyway, so he wasn't actually doing any more constructing. Growing over here, we've got... Natalia is out of that one as well, so she's really specialized. In fact, maybe specialized enough to where we will be able to access some of Tomislav's passions while she's concentrating on the research. That is very possible. That's your first number two, and all the rest of them are going to be threes, but what are they? Mining? Yes, that's a three, and it will be a two later when we actually get going. Um, smithing? That could be... I'm going to make that one a four. Okay. So tailoring as well. Art is a no. It's a zero. And five on crafting. Okay, so crafting actually puts you as a quick candidate for block cutting. So we'll we'll do that. Otherwise, continue through this here real quick. Mining, that would be Shantigo. And then Rabbit. And then Klaus. And plant cutting is everybody. Smithing is... Handy's got the highest skill in it. Kathra is on. Natalia has no passion for it, but she does have some, some skill. Tailoring, kind of the same list. So crafting would be the same list, too. Art is Kathra. Actually, Shantigo is higher in art than Kathra. But Shantigo is... He's, he's uh, putting his artistic skill into his meals. Whereas Kathra is putting him into sculpting. Um, hauling right now... What am I seeing here? Why, when I clicked that, it actually gave me an order when there are no skills involved in hauling. I would think run speed, but handy is the best run speed in the in the colony. So what is the difference in that column? I don't know. Cleaning is the same as hauling, so they're the same random whatever quality that was. Overall personality. I don't know what to think about that. And then research would be Tomislav and Natalia. Klaus is capable. Shantigo is capable. But they're both going to be busy doing other things. Klaus is probably going to be just the all-around handyman when he's not dealing with these. Find meal, stockpile, and... Actually, I accidentally hit clear all. Didn't want to do that. Let's go back to meals, any, and... Um, Critical is what I want. Low priority. Need to get those hauled in. Um, handy, you could do that right now. Haul that in. And drop it off in there. Otherwise, we've got to make a run and go get some meals. Got free food out there. And if we don't, the boom rats will eat it. So, Rabbit, you are sowing daylilies. That's actually a good thing. I'm not going to disturb you there. Tomislav is consuming a fine meal. Sangria is consuming a fine meal. So I'll let all those happen. Natalia has a run speed of what? She's got some scars and whatnot. So how does that affect... 
She's got a move speed of 3.16. So she's not an athlete in the sense that uh, we're going to send her out to go pick up everything that drops on the map. Which she's probably thankful for. <laughs> um, run. So who then? Really, it's just Handy who's available at the moment. You went to go eat one. I clicked the wrong thing. I meant to click Hall. Reserve for prisoners. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Now, if I were to just delete the stockpile, it would still probably not let me go and pick him up. So, let's just unreserve for prisoners. Then, Handy can haul find meals nine. Okay. Get that done. And then we'll turn that back on for prisoners again. I do need to get a bib built into there, too. Alright, so you're now prisoners. And... Colonist needs beds. Okay, and I guess handy, you're gonna get to work building a bed. And while I'm here, build copy. So let's stick one in there. And really kind of wanted one there, but I guess not. Actually, I could. That's right, I forgot about that. We're done here. Let's go ahead and at least set this up. It's not gonna get done right now, but we could make this happen. That. All of these go away. Um, cancel that one. Let's orders. This is in the danger zone. Well, if, that's ch if that were chipped out, then enemies could come through here and bust through a wall and come in. Although they could just go right in there. But, yeah, eventually. But for right now, structure, wall, this group right here. And I think for now we'd probably double that up. So... That will extend the uh, the jail eventually. Otherwise, that bed needs to be done. And Handy, you are trying to finish a cloth duster. We still have... What is our date? 14th of, of Jugist. We still have fall coming, so all of September. So we've got 16 days left to make the last of our dusters. So, which I need to increase to 10. But for now, Handy, you can get to work on that. And Kathra, you are cutting stone block over here. Your run speed was pretty decent, right? Eh, not the greatest. Rabbit was better. You harvesting strawberries. Let's go get these meals. That was... I've lost them. Over here in this, this valley, yeah. Right there, you can... Not okay. If I unforbid them, can you now haul them? You can. Interesting. Okay. So you're gonna do that, Shantigo. You are hauling granite blocks up there, and that's fine to do eventually. I thought I double clicked on those. Unforbid. Shantigo, you can haul these in. And I need two more, two more uh, willing candidates. Kathra, you are as well. This one. And I need one more. <clears throat> Klaus, you still in bed? Yep, you had a lot of running to do yesterday. So, is it handy? Sangria, you are training Sienna, and you're kind of in the process right now. Okay. Handy, I've already assigned. Who am I missing? I have Natalia. I feel like there's one more that's in the mixer. It's Tomislav, where are you at? You are right there, hauling granite chunk. Let's let you get out of the doorways. In fact, I'll just let you finish your path, because you're heading that direction anyway. In fact, pause. I can just shift-click. That's what I keep forgetting about. Shift and do that. And now, it should be... It isn't. Interesting. You dropped it right there. So, an order that they do on their own, you can't couple others onto. Like... I could now shift and right click. No, that's not a something to haul. Okay. Right click and oh anything like this right here. Haul that corn. And now it should say it's not working. Alright, one more time. You um Maybe I wasn't holding the shift button. That's odd. Alright. We're going to tell you to haul these. After that, by holding shift, I should be able to tell you to do this. The whole point is I wanted to 
show something that I just noticed. So hold down the shift and do that. There it is. So we've got hauling this and then cute hauling the other. There's one time that I had Sangria hauling four different blocks of, of wood and it only listed one but I didn't realize there was a parentheses x2 parentheses afterwards so there were it was stacked on top of each other in that sense. Otherwise you're gonna take care of those and hopefully in fact someone like Klaus Sangri you're gonna be busy doing that. Hmm I guess I want to catch somebody actually doing this job. I'm gonna have them just do multiples and get it done. Somebody that's already had a meal and not have to worry about them them breaking. Though maybe well, we'll see how the timing lines up and if they truly need to uh, to get a uh, a social hour or not. Anyway, these are all being done. So block cutting. We are getting things just dropped off here and there. Sangria, you are right now taming a wild boar. That's enough taming for the moment. Let's do this job right here. Grab those blocks. And Sienna's hauling more. And there's more down here. So Klaus, you are grabbing a meal. And everyone's grabbing a meal. I'm going to get to know each other here. Hopefully there's a little conversation that goes on. Uh, Natalia, have you met Klaus yet? You have. Oh, you've met Klaus, of course. <laughs> He's the one that convinced you to uh, to stay here. So Klaus is going to do these jobs. What was I just thinking I wanted done instead? Well, actually, you're going to do these jobs, so I'm going to leave you alone. Though I am going to insist that you continue them by doing that, and then doing that, and that. Hopefully I didn't say consume in any of these. Hauling, and then these over here, and then this one over here. So I'm going to concentrate you on just cleaning this up for a while. Rather than hauling here and then working on hauling something down over here and then going back here eventually. Need to get that food in. Do we have enough room to do it? Shantigo is hauling his stuff in. I would like for him to go right back to mining. Let's see what he chooses to do. You are consuming a fine meal. You're hungry. Okay, that's fair. Catherine's bringing hers in. Andy's back to work. Not doing this job. Let's do that. Alright, Shantigo. What's the chance you're going to... You're set to hauling. That's right. We have a lot to go. come in here. Let's take your hauling off. Shantigo right there. Hauling back to a two, and let's have you just mine for a while. And you've had your meal, so the prioritize is not going to harm us. Tattered apparel is Natalia. Natalia, I'm going to need to force you to wear something, aren't I? Is it? It's interesting that. Okay, well, what are you wearing first? Um, Natalia, right there, and gear. It's probably your jacket, and there are no other jackets to wear. That's what it is. So you don't need the jacket right now. We're, yeah, we are at 59 outside. That's a little cool. But it is also 9 in the morning. It's going to get warmer. Let's toss the jacket, drop it. And that got rid of, I didn't get the chance to see it, but it got rid of whatever the negative was for that, which is going to bring your, your mood up a little bit more. This one we can unforbid, so it will be hauled in and eventually sold. It won't be worth anything, but it'll, it'll eventually be sold. All right, we are using this alternate pathway now. Good. That's all done. Rabbit is sewing. Tomislav is hauling. Kathra is block cutting. Good. And good that you chose that one. Never mind. You didn't choose that one. You were going to drag a block all the way down here to do this one. So let's do that. And there's a meal up there. Yeah, can I? I can't get you to equip that or anything like that, can I? Consume and haul. Nope. Okay. You already have a meal on you. You do not, but I can't. I can't actually get you to do that. You have to think of it on your own. That's unfortunate. Natalia, you are working on block cutting, and there are no blocks left in this area. Hmm. Okay, that's unfortunate. Instead then, 
let's have you I can't make you construct can I no it's not available um, correct I didn't do that wrong right Natalia there you are construct is available as far as hauling parts in so let's instead have you fill in that doorway need material wood ah wood and you can't let's do this over here this is the most okay you don't have plant cutting available to you Natalia character incapable of plant work okay so I couldn't have you do that if I wanted to all right but you're going to head back down grab a big stack of of only 20 let's and you can't haul because it's dumb labor <laughs> So the only way I can offset that is to have you haul from this point. And you should bring enough for lots of... Unless 20 is your maximum haul. 75. Nope, we got all 75 out of it. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. And Tomislav, you are hauling 75 up there. Alright, that's fine. Eventually... Uh, Psychic Soothe is ending. That's why Thomas I was doing so good. Eventually, Handy's going to head over there and start working on that wall. Right now, you're making pants. Because you stopped on the duster. Why did you stop on the duster to go to pants? Because pants became available in the bills uh, chart. And it is a higher priority. So you're going to shut down a lower priority to get to work on two pairs of pants. Which we already have one. These tattered ones over here. Okay, that makes sense. So Natalia's dropping those off on her way to doing... No, I don't want you to actually construct them, so cancel that. It's just that I don't have another workbench that's near any of this, and you won't haul stones, except... I guess there's no choice. You're going to go grab these stones and haul them down there. Okay. Well, that's just the way it's going to be for right now. Shantika will make some more, and they'll be closer over here. Okay. Haul orders haul that one and there were two over here but i guess she went to get them all on her own and they're gone already okay otherwise klaus is continuing to work out over here tomislav is also good rabbit and sangria are planting everything up we've got the 15 days left to see what we can grow which everything i think has a grow time of 15 days or less heel root grow time of 6.5 uh, raining. Ooh, not good. This stuff's going to deteriorate faster in the rain, right? I think it does. Um, we have a lot of food. But we also have a very long no-grow season. So there isn't as much food here as you think. But I do see the need for needing to expand this even further. So let's do that. This one refrigerator doesn't seem like it'd be enough to do the job. We're at 20 degrees. If we were in a heat wave, it would we you know this would be a, a major fail, but we're not, and we have winter coming. In which case, this cooler won't even run through a lot of it. It'll just be sitting there hovering at 20 watts in standby mode. Let's chip that out. Chantigo, why don't you do that right now while I'm thinking about it? We get a door in there. Otherwise, I've got to shut this down, don't I? Let's look over my clock. We're getting pretty close to that hour mark. The the noble hour, as, as Michael calls it. I like that. So after that, we'll get you back. Hello. Where did that hit? Right in this area somewhere, but it's already gone out. When Nope, there it is right there. When there is a fire in the home zone, whoever's not already working on a job should automatically get the command uh, right now everybody was probably doing something so they, as soon as they finish the job they're on then they'll look for the next job and fire will put will jump to the top of the list right now let's go ahead and have you extinguish this fire the rain will do it but yeah let's not let these get ruined any further than they are it's already 36 out of 60 from that lightning strike um Anyway, that got taken out. Let's get this door built. Um, orders, structure, build, door. We don't have any wood whatsoever. All right, who gets to go do some plant cutting? Natalia can't. And she can't clean or haul. So she got out of the new recruit uh, uh, duties of 
being the, the one to, to do the cleaning and the hauling for a while. Oh well, <laughs> there are advantages to having having uh, uh, duties you're not allowed to do. Who could dive in? Really nobody. I mean, I need two things happening at once. We've got to get this stuff hauled. Really do. Probably need to send more people into the hauling and just get this thing done. Handy, even you. Cathra, uh, although handy, I'm going to have to drop tailoring down a notch to make that happen. No, I don't. I can leave you there and take you down to a two, and I can just manually tell you, relaxing socially. Needs, I think we're going to call you fine. Let's have you specifically come and do that one, and that one, and that one. And then, Rabbit is already busy. Sangria, you're all taking a break right now, but it's not truly needed. So Sangria, actually, you're, you're planting. I'll leave you alone. Natalia can't. Candy... That's everybody down in here. kind of want to set up some orders for next time. Klaus, relaxing socially at this table. <laughs> Needs none. You're fine. Um, boy, I want a tree chopped down, though. I really want to chew. Let's have you just haul this guy. Um, right there. Haul a fine meal. And then haul these potatoes. And... Hmm. I'll wait on those. In fact, you're, we're probably in the middle of harvesting a few of these. And then that rice, these strawberries, and these medicines. Okay. With that, I think we better call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.